Alexander Graham Bell, a teacher of the deaf, was greatly interested in communication. He had mentioned that the telegraphs had been out at the time, and Bell decided he would better this technology. Successful Bell was, for he had invented the telephone, a device that was able to transmit voice from one telephone to another. The telephone had greatly advanced communication and gave millions of jobs. The telephone to this day is being upgraded and being placed into millions of people's hands. The telephone will be an invention that will last throughout the world for years to come. But what was the full story to the telephone? It starts off before the telephone was invented, with another way of telecommunication, and is still being used today, though less and less. This technology is mail, normal paper envelope covered mail. This was used for centuries and long journeys were done to send this mail, but for years upon end, the want, the need for a more useful communication was desired, and the answer to that were the telegraphs. Many, many telegraphs were created and used over the years, and the telegraphs were a huge inspiration for Alexander Graham Bell to create a device. But before that epiphany came, there was another inspiration for Bell that came at a very young age. With a deaf mother, Bell was always interested in communication, for he created a sign language he and his mother could use to communicate. It became a dream of his to have fame and fortune, but he never knew how he'd achieve it until he noticed devices known as telegraphs. He never got around to it at his young age at the time, but he had a dream to create a better telegraph. Instead of going straight into making a telegraph, Alex became a teacher. While Bell was working, his father had been creating a new sign language known as the visible alphabet that was used for the deaf. Alexander adopted this teaching method and swapped his job, so he started to teach at a place named Horace Mann School for the Deaf in 1871. There he taught with his father's sign language and once again became interested in communication. Alexander Bell in his free time started to invent telegraphs, mainly focused for the deaf to use. Bell had created a telegraph that copied vibrations words had and would shoot out the vibrations, helping the deaf to pick the words. Bell realized that his dream of fame and fortune wouldn't happen if he continued making devices for the deaf. For most people had the ability to hear. So he changed course and began to create devices for people with functioning ears. Now Bell may have many extraordinary ideas, but he was not an avid inventor and was never really great with technology. Bell decided to look for a co-worker that would fulfill what he couldn't do. Bell then hired a man named Thomas A. Watson. The two sadly failed to invent a good enough telegraph. Inventors around the world were attempting to create a mainstream telegraph, and after all of Bell's and Watson's hard work, the invention didn't become popular or useful for that matter. But never should anyone think that Mr. Alexander Graham Bell is out of ideas, or he had one, and it would be called the telephone. Blueprints and designs for the telephone began in 1874 and would finally begin development the next year, 1875. The telephone was complete by 1876 and was going to be patented in the country where it was created in, England. But unfortunately, the telephone was turned out and not patented where it was going to be. When Bell and Watson showed off their device and went to get it patented, it was declined. The patent office said that the telephone was a device with no value or virtue, that it would never help in the slightest. So the terrible contraption was moved someplace else. In the same year, 1876, Bell and Watson, the creator of the telephone, traveled over the land of the free and the bold, the United States of America. The telephone was patented on March 7, 1876, and shown off to the public in the Boston Musical Theater on May 4, 1877. Mr. Watson, come here, I want to see you, were the very first words ever spoken over the telephone from Alexander Bell. The telephone was soon released to the public after the telephone's first showing. When the 20th century rolled around, it sold beautifully, giving Bell exactly what he wanted, fame and fortune. The device could send and receive voice, and the longest distance it could do this apart was six miles. The telephone definitely needed to be more powerful to really become the definition of telecommunication. Bell invented a business known as American Telephone and Telegraph Company, aka Bell Industries, aka AT&T. Within this company, its employees learned the basics to inventing a telephone, so of course, more were invented. Though also add-ons and upgrades, too, were put into the telephone. Soon, telephones could contact somebody on the other side of North America. So what was next? Exactly what the world wanted happened. More and better ways to communicate. The telephone was soon able to contact somebody across an ocean. The telephone literally became the biggest turning point in telecommunication history. The reaction may have been great for the telephone, but how did it work? Sure, we all may know how to work it now, but how differently did it operate back in the day? We all know when there is a medical emergency or any danger about, we call the police by dialing 911. And we speak our problem, easy as pie, right? Well, it wasn't as easy once upon a time. Back when telephone numbers were about, people would have to call an operating office, ask for the number of a place, then hang up and call that number. Really time consuming, right? So when there was an emergency, you would have to do that if you needed such help. 
Still, it wasn't as simple to call 911. In fact, 911 didn't even exist for a very long time. Operator? Operator, there's been a bad accident. Two cars head on. Please get a doctor and an ambulance. Can you give me the address, please? It's right outside my house. Old Woods Road near Van Dyke. Hurry, please. Thank you. We'll get help to you as fast as possible. If you had a medical emergency, you got the number to a service that would help you for that medical problem. If there was a crime going on, you would ask the operating office for a service that would help you with that problem. So now the main idea is out there. There was no 911, just separate places that you would call to come help you out. The world wanted answers to this problem, so the world got answers that came with an outcome. Instead of calling for a number, the world got phone books. Instead of calling for multiple companies to come help you out, 911, the number to all your large emergencies, was created. 911, or the police, was a grouping of different departments, all revolving around the same reason, to help you out. If you had a fire problem, you called 911, stated your issue, and you got your help. See how much the telephone did? Rather than you running slash driving slash riding a horse to a place that could help you, all you needed was the telephone and the know-how is of a telephone, and you got your help. This is just one of the many examples on how the telephone revolutionized communication, and its advancements have been going on in the past and are still being done today. Not only has the telephone bettered communication, it has done many other things as well. Many applications and products have been inspired and created because of the telephone. Email is a messaging device which lets people communicate and send info to one another acting as a text messaging device. Also, email inspired the telephone creators to make another way of communicating known as texting. Texting is a way of messaging each other with words. But the catch is that texting is a cell phone exclusive add-on. The telephone was put down to size in 1983. Known as the cell phone, it was a wireless portable phone, though back in the day the cell phone wasn't really portable, just wireless. Nothing that could fit in your pocket, if that gives an idea. The cell phone had a giant cord giving it its ability to call. Soon the cell phone was put down to size and could fit into people's pockets. And not only that, but it could go on the internet, download music, have a GPS, text call, and many other apps. Another product that was inspired by the telephone is the internet, an electronic browser allowing you to communicate on various websites. The telephone basically is the foundation to the internet and many other products. All are used to communicate socially and to communicate news and important events to one another. Speaking of cell phones, there are such services that allow you to have unlimited call and text, and this upgrade comes from a service plan. A service plan is your telephone's limitations and abilities for the time being. Different telephones will have different advantages though. All of this service plan mumbo jumbo comes from a telephone service company. The telephone's short term impact and long term impact are actually the same. Both act with the same outcome that stresses out all the way till now. So the impact is long term. And if you want to look at the impact, it's a device that has recreated the definition of communication. It had brought humans together to talk to one another socially and for an actual important cause. It has shortened time for us to communicate and still stays true to this day. The only way its impact has changed is some of the new methods of communication the telephone creators have added to it, such as texting and voicemail. Any way you slice it, the telephone is an amazing device that has really added on and revolutionized communication. Alexander Graham Bell, a teacher of the dead, was greatly interested in communication. The invention of the telegraphs had been out at the time, and Bell decided he would better this technology. Successful Bell was, for he had invented the telephone, a device that was able to transmit voice from one telephone to another. The telephone had greatly advanced communication and gave millions of jobs. The telephone to this day is being upgraded and being placed into millions of people's hands. The telephone will be an invention that will last throughout the world for years to come. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the telephone in a nutshell. They understand it's near.